Hi there, welcome to the short and to the point video on Fluticazon. This video will cover all the essentials and easy to understand language. How and when to use Fluticazon, what would be the correct dose, but also what are possible side effects and is it safe to use in pregnancy or when you're breastfeeding. I also made a more in-depth video suitable for medical students or medical professionals um, and you can find that video in the description. Also feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos and let's get into it. First, I always start with a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational and this is not meant as medical advice. So always contact your doctor if you're looking for medical advice. So the generic name of this medication is Fluticazon. It's known under several brand names like Flixotide, Briolepta and Ralvolilepta. And it's available in three forms, dose aerosols, nebulizers and as an inhalation powder and they each have their own case of use. So the dose aerosols and the inhalation powder are used as maintenance treatment of asthma and COPD. And the nebulizer is used to treat severe asthma or acute exacerbations of asthma. How do you use it? You always use those medications through inhalation. And the best way to do this is when you use an inhalation chamber. This makes it more easy for you to inhale all the medication and spread it more effectively through your lungs. And this way it will work better. Always rinse your mouth after using uh, the inhalation powder or the dose aerosols because it may lead to infections of your mouth and throat when you do not rinse it properly. If you use it as asthma treatment you can expect some effects within four to seven days but the maximum effect will appear within several weeks. And if you use it for COPD treatment Within 10 days you can experience some uh, benefits and effects, but it may take up to 3 to 6 months before you reach the full effect. How long do you need to use this or how long can you use it? As long as necessary. But probably this is quite a long time. And you're always um, in contact with your doctor, he advises you how long to use it and in what doses. But make sure to use it at fixed times so you always have a certain level of the medication in your blood. Then lastly, if we look into safety, this medication is perfectly safe to use and there are no restrictions regarding driving, alcohol or any type of food. If you look into the dose and you want to use fluticasone as maintenance treatment and asthma and adult or children older than 16 years, always use the dose aerosol or the inhalation powder and start with a dose of 100 micrograms two times a day and the maintenance dose would be 100 to 500 um, micrograms two times a day. And you can maximally take 2000 micrograms per day. Um, and this is for severe asthma. For children from 4 to 16 years, the initial dose is 50 micrograms two times a day. The maintenance dose is 50 to 200 micrograms a day. And for children from 1 to 4 years, always use a baby inhaler instead of a normal inhalation chamber you can use 100 micrograms two times a day. Always contact your doctor to see what is the best dose as maintenance treatment. Then if you want to use it in uh, asthma exacerbations, always use nebulizer and use 500 to 2000 micrograms two times a day and maximally do this for seven days in a row. And if you need it after seven days, always contact your doctor for some advice. And in children from 4 to 16 years, you can use 500 to 1000 micrograms two times a day. And again, maximally for seven days. And then lastly, if you want to use fluticason as maintenance treatment in COPD, and you're an adult, use 500 micrograms two times a day of dose aerosols or inhalation powder. And after three to six months of use, evaluate if you have enough effect of this medication. Unfortunately, fluticasone also has some side effects. Uh, very commonly, more than 10% of all people will experience infections of the mouth. Um, this is when you do not rinse properly, and therefore you should always do that. Then commonly, 1-10% to of all people will have hoarsenessness, bruises, a pneumonia, uh, which is an infection of your lungs, or bronchitis. And this is mostly seen in COPD patients. And less than 1% of all people will have a reaction on the skin of this medication and rarely we see a fungal infection of the throat, which is also uh, what you get by not rinsing properly. Then, regarding pregnancy, the use of fluticasone is perfectly safe. It will not pass 
through uh, the fetus or the baby in your belly and you can use it as prescribed. And the same can be said for breast milk. Uh, it does not pass in the breast milk and you can use it safely as prescribed. So in a nutshell, this was my overview on Fluticazon. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section and feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.